Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jay Miller, and I wanted to talk a little bit about how I set up that Things 3 service tool thing. Um, it's not as crazy as it seems. I'm actually going to do it completely from scratch. Um, as you can see here, I have Automator open, and all I do is I double click Service because it needs to be a service. Um, that way, you can right click, go to Services, and then add to Things 3. Um, but then, as you can see, it says receive selected text in any application. That's important. Make sure it says text. Make sure it says any application. And then from there, you can uh, add a Apple script. There. And by the way, this Apple script, I while I did make most of it, I got the inspiration from another Apple script that I cannot remember, but you can find it. I think it was for like adding individual, like a single line. All I did was make it support things three and then make it support multiple lines of code. Um, and if I got to find it here because I copied it all and I started doing a thousand things. Oh my goodness. This isn't good. But that point I there we go I just paste that in and that's that's the script that you can find in the gist that I that uh, was linked and as you can see I'll run through it really quick on run input as parameters all it does is actually get the text that you need um, set delimited list it creates a variable um, a list of the individual lines they call them paragraphs um, in Apple script even though they're not paragraphs and then tell application things three to repeat with the current to do in the reverse of the, of the delimited list. That's important because when it plays it back in Apple script, it plays it back words literally. So as it's like making these paragraphs, it starts at the bottom and works its way to the top. Um, so I just tell it to go in reverse order, which would mean start at the bottom and work your way down, uh, create a new variable called new to do and tell it to make a new to-do um, with the properties of the name, the current to-do that we had. Uh, and that's doing exactly what it is at the beginning of the list. Um, inbox, and that just puts it in your inbox and things. Uh, that's it. Uh, I wanted to do a quick little recap of how I set that up. A lot of people were confused on as to how you get it to actually set up and run. Once you save that, you should then see it as a drop down when you right click on a single line of text or multiple lines of text um, and then it should say whatever you named it which i named mine add to things three thanks for uh watching and uh, be sure to follow and um, i also provide other little tips and stuff like this over at uh, at prod and tech um, on their youtube channel so be sure to go follow that as well um, we talk about programming